Hello everyone, so today I've actually made some coffee equipment purchases. Right, so a bit of backstory, right? So basically I do or I do try out some um, pullovers at home and, and during work time I mainly brew using the French press immersion method. Because right, you know when you're working, you don't have much time to fiddle around with stuff. So a French press is obviously the easiest and the most accessible way to brew your own good coffee, which is a much superior, should I say, choice to instant coffee. So yeah, today I went to two cafes. Right. So the first one, I actually wanted to buy a Kalita um, flat bottom dripper. I'm not sure what the model number is. Let me have a look. But yeah, basically I wanted to have a flat bottom um, filter dripper or a brewing vessel because right now at home, I usually brew with the um, the very standard Harovi 60 right? because that's the cheapest and that's what we all see on, on YouTube or online so you know, I started off with that, with that and basically that's not much um, that's a lot to learn about the technique with a V60 and all the recipes and all and sometimes I find myself not having a consistent cup, so I thought, you know, might might a brewer that brewing vessel be the issue? So yeah, I got I got I got two today. Right? About the consistency, right? Actually, with my French press, I get very consistent results. Obviously, because it's an immersion instead of a percolation um, brewing method but yeah so today I've got two I've got one Kalita here so this is the Kalita 101 ceramic dripper yeah so for this it's actually good for one to two cups of coffee yeah, so it's good for one to two, which is usually the the amount that I drink. You know, I'm I'm just brewing for myself, not for not for anyone other than myself, basically. Yeah, so this is I got this, but actually, I wanted to have something the 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 the, the, the flat bottom version instead, but they only have this, so I just you know thought of just 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 give this a try and see how it goes. Yeah, so let's open it up. And have a look how it looks like inside. Oh, yeah, it's pretty simple. So it's a, a ceramic, the ceramic version of the, the ruler. Right, so it looks like this. And the insides look like this. So you can see there's three holes here. There's three holes here which are used to use for the water flow basically i guess yeah same here so actually if you look closely it is unlike a v60 which is round this kalita has actually flat sides so i'm quite curious of how the cup will taste or will it aid with any consistency issues that i'm having but I've yet to get my hands on any filter papers for the Kalita, so I won't be able to try that out today. So this is how they are filter paper filter papers gonna look like. It's basically like a V60 filter paper, but with a sort of like a flat bottom cutout. Not a flat bottom but a wedge. Wedge cutout, I guess. Moving on to the style of the show today. Alright, so what I've been really wanting to try out for the longest time uh, basically the, the, the flat bottom brewer right? so what I've got here is this brand called Simplify 
and it, it's called Simplified Google, I believe. Yeah, so the, the brand is called Simplified by Bathtub Coffee. <laughs> I mean, it's a brewer, it's a brand from Japan. It's a brand from Japan, and you know, a lot of coffee stuff are from Japan nowadays. Your Hario, Kalita, this, um, so many more. So, yeah, I'm gonna unbox this with you guys and try and brew a cup later, see how it tastes. Cutting it open, opening the box. From what I know, it's actually a plastic, um, transparent plastic dripper, and this is how the dripper looks like. It's like the box is empty inside. Just it's just the dripper. So this is the dripper. Very simple, just a a, a brewing vessel a dripper. Plastic. Yeah, it's made from let's see BPA free nylon and the maximum recommended service temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, which is what we're gonna know we typically brew our, our coffee at. And if you have a look inside the dripper, the, the design is very simple. It's just a big hole and then there are six ridges here around the the, 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 the hole where the water flow shoot, right? So that those hole, those ridges are to hold the paper filter in place and to avoid um, the, the filter paper from touching the brewing vessel to promote better water flow. So from this end, same thing is very simple. It's very very simple and yeah quite looking forward to it and if we are looking at their website you know how they are sharing this vessel as a very good alternative to other other the brewing methods is that you don't even need to bloom stir or pulse for your pores and basically you just that they are recommended recipe here right on their website which I think I will link it in the description below later on so the recommended recipe is very simple I can't believe it I'm very curious on how good this cup will taste so basically you just set your paper filter, filter paper in and then you put about 15 grams of fine ground coffee I believe it's about a 4 to a 5 setting on a Old Gen 2 that I'm using and then basically you just pour 230 grams of water for 30 seconds just one pour, single pour, just a single pour for 30 seconds and then you stop and then you just wait about 60 to 90 seconds for it to draw down and then you know, you're ready to go it's very simple and then for the what's it called? yeah, the paper filter that goes with it or to be used with it they actually recommend um, using the Kalita Wave Filter 185. So I got a box as well because I, I, I don't have any of this um, Wave type of filter. Alright, so same thing. Uh, basically, you can use it for most of those, you know, fat bottom rules, I believe. So here's Kalita's recommended brewing method. There's a sneak peek on the box, if anyone's curious. So this size, um, Kalita Wave Filter 185, um, this size is actually for 2 to 4 person, which is like a Hario V60 size 2, I believe. And yeah, let's just have an open of the box. I'm gonna open nicely because I, I, I don't like the boxes and tearing up the part. Okay, there's a bit of paper. It's a very cute and interesting shape. So basically, it looks like a oops, cupcake. 
basically it looks like a cupcake. Just open it up. There's another layer. Um, I'm just gonna cut it. This is how the paper looks like. And it looks like a cupcake. Please tell me it doesn't look like a cupcake. This is how Kalita Wave Filter Paper looks like. Cupcakes. And how we're gonna use this is we're just gonna take one. Oh, this is a bit hard. Just gonna get one paper out. I'm sorry guys, this is a bit harder than I thought. Almost there, yes. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so this is how one paper looks like. It's very soft. You've got your brewing vessel, the brew, and you just place it inside, push it in. And here we can see the dots are, are you know, not allowing the paper filter to touch the brewing vessel, like, like we mentioned just now. So yeah, I'll make a cup later and let's see how it tastes. Cheers guys. So now I've just freshly boiled some water from my kettle and I'm going to pour it all into my small little gooseneck kettle. Um, I don't have an electric gooseneck kettle because those cost a lot. I'm just going to stick with my cheap alternative here. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to rinse the filter paper here so I'm just gonna place it on top of my vessel down there my glass jar and yeah actually rinsing is not a necessity but it's highly recommended just to get rid of any papery taste from the paper filter and yeah we're just gonna make sure that the filter is seated well inside the brewer and I'm just gonna rinse it starting from the sides so just Rinse it in circles, a few more circles to make sure that it's all well saturated and well heated up. You know, you just want to get rid of all the papery taste to make sure that your coffee tastes as pure as possible. Now we just let the water drain down and oh, look at the beans we have here. So what we have, the Hub Coffee Roasters, a Honduras coffee beans. So these beans are pretty good and yeah. As per the recipe, we're going to pour out 15 grams of coffee bean to be grinded. So I'm going to look at my scale right here. And I'll stop when it reaches 15 grams. Oh, not yet. Almost. Let's see. Mm. Ah, too much. Let's pick some out. Let's make sure it's 15. I usually leave about 0.1 grams more of course. When you grind, there's gonna be some retention inside of the grinder. Okay, now we're gonna pour the beans into the grinder. Mine is a single dose grinder, so you can see the hopper is fairly small. I'm just gonna put the catch cup there, get everything ready, and uh, the grind setting. I'm gonna put it somewhere around four. And Uh, we need to turn on the power. Hehe. <laughs> right, so we just turn on the power and it's gonna grind right now. Oh, it's, it's done quite fast. For 15 grams, you should be about there. Now I'm just gonna knock out any more coffee stuck inside the grinder. And yeah, now we're just gonna put the coffee grounds. You can see the, the the grind size is about on the finer side for 
a filter coffee and just gonna rinse throw away the rinse water from the filter paper and I'm just gonna put the vessel on top of our scale and the blue on top pouring the grinds into the filter just make sure all of the last drop is inside don't want to waste any beans just gonna top off some water and before we start always remember to reset your skill to zero and just give it a gentle shake for the brewer to even out all the coffee grinds on top having some issues with my cheap skill here just gonna restart it okay and now we are all ready to pour I'm just gonna follow what's stated on their website which is one single pour in the middle I'm, I'm swirling a bit because I'm a bit too used to a V60 but yeah basically you're just gonna pour 230 grams but I think I may I poured it a little extra here yeah so you just single pour no need to bloom no need to pause or anything so I'm just gonna pour until it reaches 260 because I messed up it should be 230 grams here and voila okay so I've actually just finished brewing as you can see here and aroma rice it's really good it's I get a much nicer cup than using a B60, at least for me. Because perhaps I'm pretty sure my, my technique is wrong or, or there are some issues with my technique. But this simplified brewer really, you know, makes all of these issues go away. And I'm getting a lot of notes. Just like what stated on the back and get a lot of rum, raisins. Prunes, a bit citrusy. And you can see the colour is just nice. It's not I don't think it's over extracted nor under extracted. But I think you know my my grind size can be a bit finer. Juicy cup. Those beans, man, they are good. It's very. Yeah, it makes you feel alive. You know, it's not. These beans are from the hub coffee roasters they they I, I, I personally think that they are one of the the better or the best ones in my area which is Kuala Lumpur Malaysia you know I think this goes for this beats go for about 70 ringgit for 20, 200 grams which for the taste you're getting it's actually no good value yeah so it's more than what I expected from this just a just a change into brewer or brewing method and 
yeah I mean if if any of you guys are struggling with some poor techniques or you, you're looking for a more a much simpler brewing method or brewing technique I think definitely give this a go man um, it's simplified brewing vessel yeah you can get it I got it I got mine from the hub coffee roasters as well because um, my place is pretty near them they have a few branches all around Klang Valley in Malaysia yeah man cheers